Deer Creek International Business Solutions. How can I help you? I am ready. David Leach's bullet train takes itself about as seriously as crank, smoke and aces, or shoot 'em up. That's either a recommendation or a warning. The John Wick and Atomic Blonde filmmaker translates his brand of electric magnetic action with all the outlandishness of prime 2000s action flicks. Compared to Netflix's The Gray Man, it's a beacon of hope that American action can be both colorful and chaotic. It's far from bulletproof, and the action comedy elements don't always land, but there's still enough zip and humility to let the good times roll. Everything that's ever happened to you. This is gonna sting, bitch! Oh. Has led you here. Brad Pitt stars as a hitman codenamed Ladybug, who returns to action for what should be a simple smash and snatch objective. And it's this promised ease that leads to the film's humor as he goes on to face many unforeseen obstacles. Bullet Train isn't just Pitt's comedic shooting range, though. The killer rogues gallery sells their quirks from Aaron Taylor Johnson and Brian Tyree Henry as the codenamed Tangerine and Lemon, the latter a Thomas the Tank Engine enthusiast, as we're reminded frequently, to musician Bad Bunny as a vengeful groom known as the Wolf. Everyone has their shtick, and that's fine. Bullet Train isn't angling for anything more complicated than warring mercenaries fighting over scores. Andrew Koji and Hiroyuki Sonata bring their martial arts mastery to railroad battlefields, but some might be disappointed to find that the big blow-ups are saved for the finale. That's not to say Leech's action choreography fails prior, it's just more short-burst, easily editable brawls with actors like Henry and Pitt. Koji single-handedly demolishes adversaries in Cinemax series Warrior, yet is saddled with Joey King's schoolgirl sweet prince here for reasons that we'll leave undefined. There are elements of Bullet Train that fall victim to America's less fluid and more clunky action, and yet it's never as egregious as some of its counterparts, like the aforementioned Gray Man or Snake Eyes' G.I. Joe Origins. Pitt's ability to bolster his action sequences with laughs makes all the difference. Ladybug keeps reciting his therapist's teachings to counter Tangerine's brash aggression or Crime Boss the White Death's unresolved anger issues, and Pitt's demeanor doesn't let the gimmick drown. Henry achieves the same with Lemon's Thomas the Tank Engine wisdom as he keeps scouring the bullet train to Kyoto for a Diesel, aka the main villain, complicating everyone's tangled missions. There are plenty of cackle allowed moments, like when the sound designers use the perfect thud noise when Ladybug hits Tangerine in the noggin with a glass water bottle, even if other gags don't land quite as well. What's promised on the tin, bullets and trains, is delivered unfiltered, albeit sometimes too indulgent in the film's what goes around comes around thematic resolutions. You're here for the action, and that's what's consistent. Pitt's common strategy involves taking licks until Ladybug emerges victorious thanks to someone else's poor luck, but even then, he's portraying nasty physical punishment. Leech incorporates prop comedy as fighters integrate their environmental surroundings to ensure throwdowns stay fresh while violence remains at a gory premium. Deaths include sliced heads, halved faces, and other bloody spurts that don't skimp on graphic brutalities. The influence of Japanese Yakuza movies is not lost on Leech, beyond on-screen text fonts and neon brightness, like under Tokyo's night skyline. Because if you put peace out in the world, you get peace back. I think you might be forgetting what you do for a living. Bullet Train isn't an unstoppable action comedy showcase, but it's comfortably entertaining as a gunpowder milkshake of influences from Quentin Tarantino, Guy Ritchie, Jackie Chan, and countless carefree kick-ass romps. Brad Pitt is endearing as a fist knives and blunt objects only merc, while his supporting cast releases plenty of frustration that Pitt's chatty goofball counters with healing mantras. It's bloodier than expected, lands its punches at the right moments, and pleases with painful combos worth crowd-pleasing smiles. The craziness of David Leach's train never goes off the rails, nor reaches top speeds, but it still brings us along for a smooth and stable joyride that outshines its recent American action counterparts. For more on Bullet Train, check out our roundup of five things you should know before you watch, and for everything bullets, trains, and action movies, keep it right here on IGN.